Now, a nightclub DJ from Sutton Coldfield has begun a tour of the UK in the guise of King Charles I. Daniel Williams says his love of history has inspired him to bring the story of the monarch to life again, fearing it's being forgotten with the passage of time. Charles I became monarch in 1625 and was executed for treason in 1649. Well, we sent our very own cavalier, Ben Godfrey, to track him down. <laughs> By night, Daniel Williams is king of the decks. By day, he's king of his castle. Behold, King Charles I, or perhaps his superfan. This is the very early signature of Charles before he became king. He was actually a prince now of his type, and he was 12 years old. Leaving Royal Sutton Coldfield, Daniel's embarking on a UK tour of Charles' 17th century haunts, and I've come along for the ride. So what is it about this man that interests you so much? Somewhere along the line I've connected with the life of King Charles I from the very early ages from him to being king. The 1640s were the last years of Charles's reign. They were punctuated by the English Civil War. As the monarch struggled for power, he was tracked through the Midlands by the forces of Parliament. We all gather to go down this road and to march on to war. He looked for backup at a mound in Birmingham. And here we have King Standing. Back in 1642, the King actually stood here to address his new recruits. But in 2018, how many know the connection? Did you know that King Charles I is associated with this piece of land over here? And that King Standing, in fact, gets its name from that? Right. Yeah. We, we didn't know that, but you've just told us. Excellent. Do you know who this is? William Shakespeare? Who's, who's this? I don't know. Yeah. I thought he was a musketeer. He stood on Medford Hill to look after his troops. Is that right? That's correct, sir, uh, yes. History can take unusual turns. Today, it took us to a Chinese buffet near Perry Bar. Yes, dim sum with King Charles I must go down as a personal career highlight. He stopped here in 1642 in an old coaching inn. Apparently he came from Shropshire Way. He was amassing troops from up that area. And so through King standing into here, this was his route. Charles was being hunted down. Our journey, not on horseback, but in a Nissan, took us to Kenilworth, to the magnificent Stoneley Abbey. My good friend Thomas Lee has welcomed me here. And if you can't count on your mates, who can you count on? My medal to you, sir. Thank you for bestowing this honour to us. He was about to visit Coventry, but unfortunately the people of Coventry turned him away at the Coventry gates. So he decided to come and visit his good friend, Thomas Lee, and he bestowed upon Thomas Lee the title of Baron. Not even treason will stand in the way of stopping Daniel Williams from touring the UK and telling the story of the King. But his history is coming back big time this year. So for me, it's been fantastic to be starting all this just before Christmas and seeing it grow. All right, so Ben Godfrey of BBC Midlands Today here in Fair Warwickshire. <laughs> ben, if you think I'm curtsying next time I see you, no chance. I don't know about Sir Ben, but definitely the First Lady of Weather, Shafali, mm -hmm. has joined us.